said many a times, corruption is in institutionalized in South Africa. It's part of our daily lives, and we are celebrating it. We make a simple call that uh, Kanye Lomo must take back the money because that money should be taken to the deserving people. Yes. No, you are attacking a black woman and all. In our statement, we make it very clear that she's one of the best, she's inspiring confidence in many young people, and she should not compromise that beautiful image by associating herself with corrupt transactions. We are protecting her. No, you are attacking a black woman. We can't attack a black woman. We are here to protect her. But Natim Tatra's wife is the one who stole the money and gave to Kanye Long. And our suspicion is that she is a sleeping partner in that company. It must be investigated. Because when Kanye Lomo was uh, at school in France, the information is this woman was working in our embassy in France. That's where they developed a family friendship. Mm -hmm. So it, it has to be investigated. Yes. We need to know why would this woman take 34 million and give to a boutique? Yes. It doesn't matter whether a boutique employs 100 or not. The question is, how is the public going to benefit from this empowerment? Yes. Because the empowerment should, amongst others, mean a public benefiting yes. from it. There's no public which is going to benefit from a boutique. Not even the elite of note. Not even Patrice Mutsipe's wife, Dr. Mutsipe. She can't go and buy a skirt there. Because the cheapest skirt ever is 50,000 rand. <laughs> How can we? It's not sustainable, that thing. And then she takes 34 million. You know where the 4 million went? The 4 million went to buy net bank out of that building she's occupying. It was net bank there. They had to buy the net bank out. 4 million, you buy another company out. How is that empowerment of our people when you give 4 million to net bank? So we need an account of. What really transpired? Mm -hmm. Kanye Lomo is also part of uh, Power FM. She's a director there. Power FM got money from a uh, National Empowerment Fund. Yes. It means she got twice. Yeah. <laughs> she, got in Power FM, she got in Power FM and she also got in, in, the, in the boutique arrangement. Mm -hmm. Now, they say no, she's not even a major shareholder. That's not what we're saying. It doesn't matter. She's benefit, she has benefited. 8% means she has benefited. And what if 8% was given to her on the basis that she's going to bring in a national empowerment fund? Yes. That could have been the criteria. That no, I will bring this woman, I know her. She gets a deal, when was it? In April, right? She gets a deal in April, was it in July? First, the woman is shown on Nothing Tetra's wife is on her magazine first, projecting her nicely there. After that, she gets a deal. <laughs> so there must be a thorough investigation. Because Nati's wife is married to corrupt leader, Nati Ted, <laughs> who has built a wall with the slush fund of the police and said he didn't know where the money to build his private wall came from. <laughs> and then Auditor General said, Ah, no, it's three, he didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Auditor General said, No, he didn't know. Because why? Corruption is part of institution. It is institutionalized, it's celebrated, it's acceptable. So there must be an investigation, and we have advised her that she must return the money. We must protect her. We care a lot about her. She's so beautiful, we don't want her to be destroyed. Beauty with brains. She's a living example of beauty with brains. And that beauty with brains must be protected. And part of its protection is to disassociate itself from corrupt practices and corrupt people. We have nothing against it. She must be supported.